not for the timid. Prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes. But a stand-up guy... Maybe we can get him to come out and, and cooperate. You were friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zanu Glosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the bridge of time to be reborn in these bodies. Ah. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. The Aphelion. We won't need Aphelion. A the Aphelion. That's what they're trying to do. Only okay. then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. Maybe we can get some answers this here. Time, this is just a drop in an ocean of power you cannot even imagine. And when you wake the Aphelion, what are you going to do with it? Anything we want. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. Aha! See? Knock him out and just use him like can't stop the ship. weekend we at Bernie's. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. Yes! I like this. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come So we need to cut off. For you, this is a dead end. Oh. Are we going to call his bluff? Let's try. I don't know. But wouldn't you want that? You take the ship off course, your friends come here to your rescue. So why are you warning us? Because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, Expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle once. We've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good, and he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. Fears take death. the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all. <laughs> uh, knowing our, our 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 boy here, I don't uh, I don't think he could do that. I'm not going to torture them. Not like this. But there's got to be something we can work with here. I would probably do it though. <laughs> scientific. There's always a scientific solution. Um, it, so he says something about time. Like maybe, maybe these Takan did die and they found a way to keep their souls alive or something in these crystals so that they could be reborn in a different time. Maybe that was... There's this whole scion of flame. Like, it, it feels like a different group. So I'm thinking, like, they could be prisoners. They could have been executed. They could have been part of some project. Or they could have been part of some project to... to like a time capsule that, you know, they're supposed to... to Connor going to open up later on, or... Maybe a fail save. I don't know. I'm just, those are just some of the things that I'm thinking right now. What's this? 
This display shows the location of the Tacon on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are, the central artery of ship systems. Sensors, propulsion, weapons. Doesn't seem to be working here. This is weird. This area here? Power generation. The warp cores. It's deserted. So they're not... Why would they be around the warp core? Well, I mean, it's dangerous, I suppose. Going this fast, it would be too dangerous to force a warp collapse by cracking one of the propulsion coils. I could rupture the hull. I'd end up damaging the cartabula in the process. And that risks tearing a hole in space. We can't have that. Engine status. Right. The warp cores are still practically redlined. However, they've supercharged the Zeldi. It still relies on existing systems. They just amplify the output? But the Takan have already interfaced with those systems. The controls will be no use. So we'd have to find a way to manually shut down the warp cores. Or cores. damage. Might not be a manual shutdown as much as it'll be sabotage. Damage one of the No key one appears systems. to be guarding it. I think I can get us there. Not gonna blow us but up. Once we're in, do you really think you can cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. But I'm coming around to it. <laughs> I got this. I'm an engineer. This is my territory. Then we'll follow your lead. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here. Now. This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. Hell yeah, I like her. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. Whoops. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Nilly's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. Uh... I know you're here, Carter. Your technology is so simple to us. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. Mm. And a part of you would remain to experience the things I can show you. But if you try to fight it, you're only going to make things worse. In case you forgot, we were a part of something. I still am. The Federation may not be perfect, but it stands for ideals that your people clearly do not believe in. We have our own ideals. And we have our own strength. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. Crusade. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Yeah. Carter, we have a plan for you. I think they rebelled against the, the Takan or something. We don't want to have to destroy you. Oh. Maybe we could reach her. I'll negotiate with Miranda. Our Miranda. When you release her. She's still here, in a way. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge. Damn it, she's buying time. Palm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here, and we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it, but I'm trying to help you. She might like us less, but we got to do this. Got it. Mine's done, too. Time to hit the road. But do we feel like we can save her? I, I don't know. 
You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. We've managed this far without doing it your way. We are hardly in control of this situation. You two forget you're on the same side? Come on! Why don't we just knock him out? <laughs> now let's move it. Yeah, I don't, I think, like... Actually, I'm curious, what does it say now? For her. Miranda was saddened when Carter wouldn't accept her offer to join the Takan, which was made worse when he refused to respond to her. Yeah, I mean, we're not... It's like she likes us less, but this is the Takan Miranda. You know what I mean? Edsar was relieved when Carter refused to go along with Major Arminta's plan to harm the Takan prisoner. Arminta doesn't like us. Was disappointed when Carter refused to let him torture the Takan prisoner to get the information they need. This a Starfleet officer would not do that, okay? And Itasca was thankful for Carter's grit and determination when she shared her guilt over the fellow soldiers they couldn't save aboard the Zeldi. I think we made the right choices there. Oh, here we go. The last guardian. It's finally out. It's a little video game, you know, it's just a joke. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 6-3. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Is that Portal 6-3? Already gave it a scan. Dead. Whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those Duridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. It's been a weird thing, right? We, it only really impacted us right at the start. I wonder if they're going to use that later. Burn marks. Burn marks. The report mentioned phaser fire being redirected toward these strange crystals. It also mentioned portal calling down lightning bolts. Better keep our guards up. That's something we can scan. This looks pretty cool. I, I, I'll just say it again. This game is unfortunately going highly underrated, in my opinion. If I recall right, Geordi LaForge transported in here, hanging upside down. I guess we're lucky we were spared the indignity. Oh yeah, because there was this big storm having to do with like the crystals, it messed with the transporter, just in reference to the episode from the first season of TNG. Anything unusual, Commander? What they're talking about here? It's all unusual, to be honest. We have precious little data on this planet, so brief was Captain Riker's visit. Anything he didn't see himself is a total unknown. We deal with unknowns all the time. Part of the job. I'm accustomed to dealing with the unknown from my station on the bridge. Did I say first episode? I meant first season. The episode from the first season. Unfortunately, the first season of The Next Generation is kind of hard to watch. I think a lot of the scripts were came from like leftover episodes from the original series. Didn't quite work, I think, but they kind of hit their stride in the third season and the second season was quite good too. These crystals are dormant. Riker's report said they were glowing, that they served as energy collectors. 
Could be a good sign they're inactive. The guardian of the Takan doesn't have his guard up. I mean, surely they know that we're here. Butt scan? Seen anything? This is where Portal 6 3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Oh, this is really cool. We're getting to see what's on the other side of this bridge. You don't see this in the episode. Follow me. Ends here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? <laughs> there was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Maybe they're using um, holograms? Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Well, most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. Nothing. There's got to be a weakness. Somewhere it isn't totally solid. Ah. Oh. An illusion. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. We have a sweet away team. Just just noticing that. Like, check them out. I love this crew. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. Wait, he's not wearing a red shirt, but isn't he there just to die? Yeah. Devolve to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical. That's the red shirt. Is he, he okay? No. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Commander, I may be able to speed up the process. I can now detect many different wavelengths of radiation simply by looking. See? The Takan radiation is unusual, so I can't quite clear it all up, but I was able to eliminate many of the non-tetrametric crystals. Your tricorder should warn you. That's an enormous help. Thank you, Lieutenant. It's my honor. Superpower, guys. I told you. Use your tricorder to find tetrametric crystals, then shoot them with your phaser. Tetrametric radiation is visible through the tricorder. Okay. Check over here first. Non tetrametric crystal formation. No uh, radiation detected. Do not discharge phaser at this crystal. What about this one? I think I've detected some right here. <laughs> it's a big X. <laughs> just, I mean, just push him off. What? Commander Westbrook tripped a little. Aside from the breathable atmosphere, this is a remarkably inhospitable planet. Traces indicate there was once living flora, but it's been dead so long it's practically turned to stone. 
From what Portal told Riker, it was an outpost to defend the far edge of the Takan Empire. Well, it's not that now. Now. Bow now? It's a grave. Another bridge here. Looks like there used to be a bridge here. So let's. That's the wrong button. Crystal stone to shoot. Oh, tetrametric. Tetrametric. Good sign. Okay. Let's just uh, back off here. Never know. Commander! I swear it looked like that bounced Looking off, that. right? Trust, but verify. I said that Indeed. today during Diablo 4, the Diablo 4 stream. any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. I have a strong urge to make you find out. Wasn't they just on the bridge? More crystals. Need a way across. Uh... Like the bridge that we just found? <laughs> Little continuity error there. Unless there's one that creates another bridge on the other side. I assume you've noticed the bridge we crossed to get here is no longer tangible. Ah, bit of a problem. Logic prevails, there's a way to get it back by finding the right crystal to phaser. I'm getting some faint tetrametric readings from inside that mountain. Then I'll head over there. And I'll stay here, in case the bridge decides to come back. Awesome. We're going in. This is how they decided to separate us from the crew. Gonna be this one. I said it was in here, right? Oh, can I climb up? Can it be like way up there? I feel like I'm playing for a mint again. Uh, maybe there's another way to get up there? I didn't see a way. Yeah, maybe there's another entrance that I didn't see. Here we go. Ah. Excellent. 
Furman is a game that I just finished up and it had a lot of sections where you're like looking all around at odd angles to find thing like these like these switches that you can interact with. This in one section in particular it was got quite annoying. Tetrametric. Wait, it's all in there? It's a big freaking crystal. Better go see what's different. Detected one more. Hold on. Oh, wow. Far off peak? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool that they warned you. <laughs> They did a much better job than in Firm a bit, I'll put it that way. <laughs> Furman had gorgeous environments though. I'll, I'll, I'll give the it way's that. Clear. Good work, Commander. Like some of the most beautiful environments we'll sure I've ever safe. seen in a game. I guess they probably realized that that section was a little annoying, so they gave a little little more guidance. I like the yellow, well, yellow pulses gave you a little, little nudge in the right direction. Wow. Wow. There's some, there's some life. Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, doctor? No, not a match. Um. Oh, I need to scan that. <laughs> I was like, Tetrametric. And it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far, only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Deval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. Very cool. There's nothing like this in any Federation record. What was that? The plants. The plants are the illusion? <gasps> yes! Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord. Okay, but here we go. Here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian. I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. I don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible. 
to enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Science of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. They okay. were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Takan immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. Mm. There is a war looming that could engulf the Quadrant. We want you to help us bring about peace before it gets to that point. Peace always comes at a cost. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. Jesus! What are you- <laughs> That got me! 